So, Kansas City, of course, was vital to the creation of jazz here in America, and the Mutual Musicians Foundation is a big part of that. Well, 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall shares how they're partnering, partnering with the city to expand in a major way. The Mutual Musicians Foundation is taking the legacy of its past to jumpstart a love of jazz for the next generation, and they're doing it by breathing new life into an old place. 2000 Vine Street is a nod to old Kansas City, and when the Mutual Musicians Foundation decided to expand, they landed here. We tried to figure out how can we reinvest our money back into an abandoned property so that way people could experience it after we left. This property's been vacant since the 1970s, and there's a lot of opportunity, lots of things going on, energy in this neighborhood. So the foundation met with the city and made their pitch to create the international jazz recording capital of the world. That pitch worked, but with a twist. The amount of life that that would just bring to the east side of Kansas City and to Kansas City as a whole, um, with the intent of trying to get hundreds of thousands, millions of people here annually for festivals, um, making this a, a secure, stable destination for people to come all around the world and use this as a resource. So, What was your reaction when you found out they were going to give it to you? But not only that, <laughs> Did they tell for you the about great this? price of $1. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> So I was sitting there, and, and he was like, you know what, how about we just give you this place? And I was like, okay, that's good. And he was like, for $1. I was like, oh, we'll take it. <laughs> this is what we hope will happen, this type of opportunity. The plans include an LP stamping press, studios that can fit the entire Kansas City Symphony, and an auditorium that seats a 1,000. There will also be apprenticeship programs for young, aspiring musicians. And to see that the city supports us, um, they support our vision, they support the work that we've been doing, um, it's crazy humbling. Next month, they will head to nine different countries for international jazz festivals to secure additional funding for what they've dubbed the Jazz LP Project. It's slated to cost $100 million, and the Kemper Foundation has already given them a seed grant to get started. Dia Wall, 41 Action News.